Happening now, residents buying and drinking alcohol at Rogers County restaurants. It's the first chance they've had since voters approved a resolution to make it legal on Sundays. Tuners reporter Nathan Edwards joins us with reaction from customers and business owners. Well, this is the first Sunday that customers are able to enjoy alcohol sales and businesses couldn't be happier. For the first Sunday in many years, as traffic flows down Route 66, so do the drinks. We're actually hoping that our business ripples at least, so I think it's that big of an impact. Thank you. You're welcome. Customers can now enjoy High Point beer, wine, and liquor to round out their weekends. A sign of new hope for bartenders here at the Route 66 Sports Bar in Claremore. Most of our customers, when we tried to open on Sundays, would actually go to Tulsa when they found out we weren't able to serve liquor. Rogers County bars and restaurants have had to turn away this kind of business since 1985. But in June, that all changed with a resolution that 57% of the voters approved. It's a great opportunity for Rogers County. It's going to bring more businesses, more employment. How could that be a bad thing? Customers at Buffalo Wild Wings are already taking advantage of this new law. A lot of people like the bar atmosphere, watching, you know, sports games on television or whatever. And what better than to have a beer while you're watching the games? And many believe in due time, it will have a positive impact on the community. I think it's you're going to see a lot more in sales. You know, the economy is going to grow. This first Sunday is still somewhat quiet for some bars. But they know it won't be that way for long. I think it's going to be a little while um, for people to get used to being able to come out on Sundays. But I think with football season coming, that's going to make a big difference. Cheers. Now there is one stipulation to the law. It is still illegal for liquor stores to sell alcohol on Sundays. Reporting in Claremore, Nathan Edwards, 2 News, works for you.